Hey there, I'm Didi Morton from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. In this Oracle Mobile Cloud Service episode, we'll explore the powerful analytics API that's built into MCS to help you gain insight into how people use your mobile applications. Perhaps you're investing in a mobile strategy that involves thousands of mobile users connecting to cloud services from a variety of locations all over the world. As a mobile program manager, you need a way to get insight into your mobile apps and understand if your mobile strategy is working. This is where MCS Analytics comes in. With MCS Analytics, you can analyze adoption trends. Know who's using your mobile applications. Are your mobile applications gaining or losing users? Which mobile applications are used the most and how long are users staying connected? You can gain a better understanding of your users. How are they using your mobile applications? Are they searching your knowledge base? What OSs or devices are they using? You can create funnels to analyze user workflows specific to your business. Are there particular issues that block users from completing a workflow? Are there too many work orders on hold because technicians don't have the right parts? Or maybe technicians can't complete their work orders on time because customers aren't at home. So as you can see, with MCS Analytics, you get a rich set of reports that give you a comprehensive view of your mobile program or applications. Now that you've seen what's possible, let's look at how MCS gets the data for these charts. So let's say that you work as a mobile program manager and your organization has a mobile app that technicians use in the field to track work orders. When a work order is dispatched, the technician accepts or rejects it. If a work order can't be completed, maybe because parts are out of stock or a customer isn't home, the technician puts the work order on hold. As a mobile program manager for your organization, you're probably wondering, how can I get MCS to collect and report analytics about my mobile app so I can analyze the workflow and find bottlenecks? The first requirement, of course, is that the mobile application needs to use an MCS mobile backend. The mobile application also needs to include the MCS mobile client SDK and the analytics API. The mobile app uses the Analytics API to post client event data to MCS through a REST call. MCS processes the client events and stores the data, which is then graphed in one of the various online analytics reports. MCS collects two types of events, automatically generated system events and custom events. System events track application users and system use, for example, the number of new users, the number of existing users, the number of sessions, and API calls, and so on. The data sent to MCS for a system event includes information like the time that the event occurred, the application that raised the event, the latitude and longitude, details about the device, such as the carrier, the device model and manufacturer, and the operating system. It also includes the session start time and ID. System events are recorded automatically and don't require the mobile app developer to write any code. All you do is embed the Analytics API in the client application and you get the reports about system events, including information about the user, location, and device for free. Of course, the user must agree to let the mobile app share this data. Custom events, on the other hand, enable you as a mobile program manager to determine the specific kinds of information you want to analyze in order to improve your application's popularity, effectiveness, or efficiency. So, for the scenario in our example, you might want to track and analyze each step in the technician's workflow. To do this, the mobile app developer would write code that logs a custom event for each step in the workflow. Then, when technicians use the app to complete steps in the workflow, when a work order is dispatched, accepted, put on hold, and so on, the custom events are triggered and sent to MCS where you can monitor and measure them. So now you understand the basics of how MCS collects and reports analytics. From here, you'll want to determine the types of data to collect about your mobile apps to ensure that your program is successful, and then you'll want to roll up your sleeves and start implementing analytics in your mobile apps.